One Story a Day for Beginners. Published by DC Canada Education Publishing. Book Nine for September. Story One. Stop the cars. One day, a mother duck and her babies were waiting to cross the road. Cars kept coming. The mother duck and her babies waited and waited. Finally, a man got out of his car and stopped the traffic. As the ducks crossed the road, many people took pictures. Who would think that a little mother duck could make all the cars stop? These baby ducks must have been so proud of their mom. Stop. Story two: Sleeping Horses. When it's time to sleep, you go to bed and lie down. Soon you fall asleep. But not all animals are like that. Horses, for example, can stand while they sleep. Isn't that strange? How do they do that? It's all in the horse's knees. A horse. Can lock its knees so it does not fall down. Isn't that amazing? Yes, horses can sleep standing up without falling over. I sleep standing up. Story three: The giant pumpkin. Pumpkins are orange and round. They are harvested in the fall. Most pumpkins are about the size of a basketball. But Jen sees a giant pumpkin in her uncle's garden. The pumpkin is bigger than she is. It is so big that Jen can't put her arms around it. She can't even reach to touch the top of it. How big is it? It is the biggest pumpkin in all the land. I can't hold this pumpkin. Story four: My eyes. I have two eyes. They let me see everything around me. Can everyone see with their eyes? No. Some people cannot see at all; they are blind. Other people cannot see well with their eyes; they wear glasses to help them see better. Sometimes it's hard to see when the sun is shining very bright, so people wear sunglasses to help them see. Take care of your eyes; they are very important. The sun is bright. Story five: The Magic Blanket. When I was a baby, my grandma made a blanket for me. It was my favorite thing. I slept with it every night. It made me feel warm and safe. When I got married, my wife thought the blanket was too old. She asked if she could throw it away. No. I said, "A special thing like that never gets too old." Just ask my son. Now it's his favorite blanket. My magic blanket. Story six. In the kitchen. Sam's mother was cooking in the kitchen. Sam watched her busily cutting vegetables. Can I help? said Sam. Of course, you can help me peel this garlic, said his mother. Always be careful when helping out in the kitchen. See the knife? It is sharp. Even I get a cut sometimes. Will you slow down then? Sam asked. Sure, said Sam's mother. Can you slow down, Mom? Story seven. Swim safely. I love swimming.
When I go swimming, I always go with a friend. Why? Swimming can be dangerous. Once, I was swimming in the sea, and I was almost pulled away by the big waves. That was scary. I like to go to the beach, but I only go swimming if there is a lifeguard. Don't go too far out in the water. Stay close so the lifeguard can see you. Swimming is fun, but always be careful. Swim safely. Don't go far. Story eight. Good night, moon. Every night. Jody turns on her nightlight to sleep. One evening, the bulb had burned out. Oh no! She said. What will I use for a light? Her dad opened the curtains, and the moonlight shone into her bedroom. It's a full moon tonight. The moon can be your nightlight, says her dad. Jody looked at her father and said, "Good night, dad." And then she looked up at the moon and said. Good night, Moon. Good night, Dad. Good night, Moon. Story nine. Measure with care. Long ago, there was a king who had a beautiful robe, but the robe was too long. An old man was asked to cut the robe to fit the king. The man was scared and nervous. He quickly measured the king. Then he cut the beautiful cloth. But to everyone's surprise, the cloth was now too short. The king was furious. He ordered the man to spend the rest of his life in jail. The lesson to learn is measure twice and cut once. Make it fit. Story ten: Walking to school. Billy does not like walking to school. Why? On his way to school, Billy has to walk past a big, angry dog. It really scares Billy. When Billy tells his mom about the dog, his mom has an idea. She goes with Billy to the house where the dog lives. They ask the man if he can keep his dog inside. The man agrees. Now Billy loves walking to school, and he is not afraid any more. This dog scares me. Story eleven: The Window. My mom gives my brother and me money every week. We call it our fun money. One day, my brother and I were playing catch in the house. We threw the ball back and forth, and then suddenly, bang! The window was broken. Dad didn't even look up from his dinner as he said, "That will be four weeks of fun money each." It sure was a long month. No fun money for four weeks. Story twelve. New skin. Our body is covered with skin. It's the largest human organ. It is a very important part of us. It covers and protects everything inside our body. That's why we need to take good care of our skin. Nature helps us too. In our lifetime, our skin will replace itself almost one thousand times. Still, take care of your skin. How? Eat healthy food, drink more water, and don't stay in the strong sun too long. Take care of your skin. 
13. Are clouds heavy? Look up in the sky. What do you see? Big, white, fluffy clouds slowly floating by. Clouds look so soft and light. Can you hold a cloud in your hand? Well, maybe if you are really strong. Why? Clouds are actually quite heavy. They are made up of millions of water droplets. One cloud, not too big and not too small, weighs a lot. How much? Almost as much as 100 elephants. This little cloud weighs 100 elephants. Story 14, Maple Tree. Do you have a favorite tree? My favorite tree is the maple tree. Why? Maple trees grow nearly everywhere in Canada. They are strong, tall, and straight. In autumn, the maple tree leaves turn different colors, red, yellow, and orange. The changing leaves are so beautiful. In the spring, maple trees give us something very special, sweet and delicious maple syrup. Maple trees are the best. Why do you like maple trees? Story 15 Making Uji Mary lives with her mother in a village in Kenya. Mama needs water for making her breakfast. Mary, go to bring back a jug of water, says her mother. Yes, Mama, says Mary. It's a long way to the well, but she is happy to help her mom. She runs to the well with her jug. Carefully, she carries the water back to Mama. Mary watches Mama make a pot of uji, a wonderful porridge. Soon, she is having a big bowl of uji. It tastes really good. I love uji for breakfast. Story 16. Staying cool. When we are too hot, we can use a fan to cool down. Most importantly, our body has a natural way of staying cool. When we feel hot, we sweat. How can a dog cool down on a hot day? A dog can jump in the water. A dog can sit under a tree. What else does a dog do? A dog can pant, which is a short and quick breath to let heat out through its tongue. Why do they do this? Dogs cannot sweat. Ah, oh, it's hot. Story 17 Goldfish I have a pet fish. Her name is Gabby. She is a goldfish. Gabby lives in a bowl. I feed Gabby every day. Once a week, I change the water in her bowl. Gabby is very pretty. I like to watch Gabby swim. She's a great swimmer. Gabby is very special to me. She is a gift from my aunt. Gabby is very special to me. Story 18. Food or Money? One. There once was a place where everyone wanted money, but no one liked to work. Slowly, Farmers stopped growing things, too. Soon, there was very little food. People had lots of money, 
but there was almost no food to buy. Everyone was going hungry. They asked each other, Why has money become worthless? What should we do? We are hungry, and we really need to eat. It's easy to print money. Story 19 Food or Money 2 One man said, I have gold, but I can't eat gold. That's right. We have gold, and we have money, but we cannot eat these things. We need food. What shall we do? said another. An old man stood up and said, Go back to the land. We must never forget where our food comes from. It comes from the earth and from all the hard work of farmers. The people saw how wrong it was to think that money is the most important thing. Remember where our food comes from. Story 20 Polar Bears Polar bears are big. They live in the cold north. They have a nice coat of fur to keep them warm. What color are polar bears? Well, that's easy. Polar bears are white. That is true, but here is something really interesting about polar bears. Yes, their fur is white, but under all that nice warm fur, Polar bears are black. That's right. Polar bears have black skin. We live in the north. Story 21. Renting a donkey. One. Based on a Middle Eastern folktale. A farmer needs a donkey for one day. He finds a man who can rent a donkey to him. The farmer pays one dollar to use the donkey for the day. It is a very hot day. The two men want to stand in the shade cast by the donkey's body. There is a problem. The shadow is only big enough to protect one of them from the hot sun. You only rented the donkey. Story 22. Renting a Donkey 2. Based on a Middle Eastern folktale. The two men began to argue. I paid for the donkey for one day, cries one farmer. The shadow is mine to use today. The man who owns the donkey says, I let you use my donkey, but I did not rent its shadow to you. Soon the men begin to fight. While they are fighting, the donkey walks away, and the shadow goes away too. I'm out of here. Story 23 Names A name can tell us a lot about something. An animal named the anteater loves to eat ants. A little insect named the honeybee is a bee, and it loves to eat honey. There is a bird named the red-winged blackbird. Can you guess what this bird looks like? Yes, it is a black bird with red wings. Also, a walking stick is not a stick. It is an insect, but it really looks like a stick. A stick can't walk, but a walking stick can. Story 24. A Sleepover Tonight, Eric is going to his best friend Jack's house for a sleepover. It will be his first time sleeping away from home. He is excited. Eric has packed a sleeping bag, his favorite pillow, a pair of pajamas, and a toothbrush to take with him. The two friends will play games, eat snacks, and watch movies all night. 
they will stay up late and have lots of fun. And maybe, if they have time, they will sleep. He is so funny. Story 25 Birds of a Feather 1. A pretty little bird loves to sit in her tree and sing beautiful songs. Her friends gather and listen to her every day. One day, a cat comes to the tree. He does not like the little bird singing. Stop! 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 shouts the cat. This is my tree now, and I will not allow singing here. He runs across a branch and frightens the little blue bird. She flies away. Her bird friends are sad, and they fly away too. Stop, you bird! Story 26 Birds of a Feather 2 The little bird and her friends gather in a new tree. What can we do? We are birds. We cannot fight the cat. He is big and he is strong. An old bird speaks up. Yes, the cat is big and strong, but there is only one of him. We are many. We are birds. We do not like to fight, but it is our tree. Birds of a feather stay together. If we do this, we are strong. The birds know what to do now. We are many. We need to stay together. Story 27 Birds of a Feather 3 They all fly to the tree. One by one, they begin to sing. The cat is angry. He chases away each bird as it begins to sing. But another bird comes. The cat runs after that bird, too. The cat chases many birds away, one after another. After many hours, the cat grows tired. He cannot win against so many birds. The old bird smiles and says again, Birds of a feather stay together. That is what makes us strong. Hooray! Let's sing our song. Story 28 Visit to Uncle Bear Two bears are going to visit their uncle. He lives far away on the other side of the mountain. The two bears go up the mountain. They are very tired, but they get to the top. They can see their uncle's house. It is at the bottom of the mountain. Now we go down the mountain, says one bear. Yes, it is a long walk. I have an idea. Let's slide down, says the other. Hooray! Here we come. Story 29. The Old Guitar. Grandpa's old guitar broke, so we bought him a new one. But he hardly played it. One day, when he opened up the guitar case, he got a big surprise. It was his old guitar fixed up. He laughed. I asked, why are you so happy? He said, I love to see my old guitar back. It is old. It doesn't look or sound very good. Then he let out a big laugh. <laughs> it's just like me. It is just like me. Story 30. Practice makes perfect. Ben is six years old. He is learning how to play chess. 
After a few weeks of learning, his grandpa comes for a visit. Ben is excited. Come, grandpa, let's play a game of chess, he says. In only a few minutes, grandpa beats him. Ben begins to cry. His grandpa says, don't be upset. You can only get good at something if you work really hard at it. Practice makes perfect. You need more practice, Ben.